So how is Japanese animation different from American animation? It's rather different because anime really got going in the early 1960s and there wasn't a lot of money, there weren't big budgets. So they uh, dwindled the frame amount to 12 frames per second. And that means that the motion seems a little different. It's jerkier. How do you augment? How do you create an imaginative world uh, with fewer frames? There are a number of ways, and this is where we see anime style becoming so distinctive. One very simple one that people always ask me about is the eyes. People say, why do they have such big eyes? Again, if you don't have a lot of money uh, and you have to concentrate on certain things, the eyes are, as we know, the window of the soul. Now, uh, if it were just visual style, uh, would we be really caring about Japanese anime? I mean, it's nice to look at, but, but what else is there? Okay, very important, narrative plots um, include uh, characters who are not necessarily purely heroic or purely villainous. Uh, they're often very interesting multi-layered people. Related to this is also the fact that th this more complex aspect of anime also gives sometimes darker endings. And that's another thing that people have different reactions to. But again, I think if you're interested in really interesting storylines and really strong characters and often very beautiful settings, it can be very, very mind expanding. It can open up your mind to a different kind of a vision of the world.